the two come out, Cancer, you have Aries and Sextile. So Aries, the radical, I would definitely recommend Cancer going to look to see where is Aries for you on your chart. Um, the words on here, active, self-starting, daring, fierce. But what I'm hearing is North Node. Right now, North Node is in Aries. Um, I need to mention this because we also have a conjunction happening this week. Um, um, I think it's either the 16th, it may be happening on the 19th, so it may be right after this week, but there is a conjunction with the uh, North Node and Chiron, and I'm going to talk about that more as it gets closer, um, but Chiron is our wounded healer, so on our birth chart, it teaches us uh, what we're going to be working on healing most in this lifetime. So I would definitely say, Cancer, look on your birth chart. Where is your Chiron? Where is your Aries? There could definitely be some big opportunity here to move forward in a healing issue where you may feel like you've been stuck. All right, Cancer, I'm going to pull out Challenge Your Obstacle with the Energy Oracle. You have appreciation coming out for your challenge or obstacle. I always see that um, garden she's in. There's not very many flowers blooming, but it definitely has a lot of potential. I feel like there's something about, um, something needs a lot of work. Something needs a lot of work, a lot of attention. We have four chakra Archangel Raphael Cancer. So this is coming out as your lesson learned. That's going to help you with this challenge or obstacle. And this is the heart chakra. You definitely could be having a heart chakra activation, heart chakra awakening. There could even be like some telepathic messages I'm hearing coming through here from lesson learned. Do you have victory that I see? But let's keep going and see what comes out for the outcome for cancer. We have strategy and the journal log. The feather pen is definitely sticking out to me. I think I'm going to go with the purple tarot. <clears throat> All right, Cancer, let's see why you have Aries. As your energy of the week. <clears throat> Nine of Cups is here. Nine of Cups is about divine wishes being granted. Six of Pentacles is here, getting assistance, receiving help, balancing the scales out. Nine of Pentacles is also here. This is about your independence. It could have something to do with financial independence. But here's what I'm going to say about Nine of Cups. Cancer, I think appreciation is in your lesson, um, challenge or obstacle, because there's something here about negative thinking or negative thoughts. Um, that could definitely have something to do with your Chiron and what you're healing in this lifetime, especially if you feel, Cancer, like you put yourself down a lot or you're really hard on yourself internally. Um, but Nine of Cups is giving me this energy um, you know how we say um, optimism. Optimism is going to be really important this week too, Cancer. Um, but it's a synergy of like, you know, the glass is half full or the glass is half empty. Um, I feel like you're struggling here with the, the glass is half empty. And I think you're going to get an opportunity this week, Cancer, where it's going to be able to change that. Remember, Mercury crossing over Pluto at zero degrees means your thoughts, the way you perceive information is going to completely transform. So Cancer, if you've been really hard on yourself, and saying like, this isn't going to happen for me. Something's really hard. It's not coming. Um, maybe something's not for me, something like that. That's what's going to transform this week. And I think that appreciation or gratitude will be easier for you, right? All right, let's look at, and I'm just saying you could be manifesting something through the heart chakra, especially if you're writing something down with that strategy. <clears throat> two of swords this is that energy of feeling stuck we always see the new moon and two of swords and two of swords with the new moon says you now have an opportunity there's a new opportunity here cancer <clears throat> excuse me so sorry the throat chakra y'all <laughs> 
Um, but it's like, you now have a new opportunity to get unstuck. Remember, I'm reading today and it is February 6th. We do have the Aquarius new moon coming on February 9th. This is the reading for what happens after that new moon, right? But big confirmation, the moon card comes out. <laughs> Um, and temperance is here. So the moon could be like there's an illusion. There's something that you're not seeing clearly. And I think temperance is a big confirmation of this Chiron energy that I was picking up earlier because temperance is about healing. Sagittarius energy coming out strongly. Cancer, yours is the moon. All right, let's look at fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. I picked up a few things. Some of you, this could be about telepathy in the heart space for sure, like messages coming through. Um, it could have something to do with compassion, understanding, forgiveness. For some of you, this could be an activation. Like that understanding, compassion, and forgiveness could be for you. The lovers comes out. It's going to be a message of Gemini energy. It is my clue card for the twin journey. You have the eight of swords. It is a self-restriction, breaking free from something, telling yourself you can't have something or you can't do something. And two of cups comes out. Two of cups is soulmate energy. Um, I heard the word lovers, but I mean, it doesn't. Two of cups is a partnership. Equal effort. Lovers is the lovers. All right, let's look at strategy cancer. We have three of pinnacles. It's partnership, teamwork, working together, respecting each other's ideas. Six of cups, someone from your past. And a page of swords, someone is watching. On the bottom, three of cups. Three of cups could be celebration, like minds, or third party. I feel like it's all three of those. All right. So Gemini coming out strongly. Cancer, could be some Pisces, and Sagittarius. Cancer, I think you're going to see this week that you've already planned something out. You've already thought something through. Maybe you wrote something down a long time ago, and it's like you didn't realize you were going to be using this energy or needing that information. And it's like, this is the week that something clears out for you. The cup definitely becomes half full. You're in a more positive energy. It's very possible you're on this twin journey, and that is the assistance that you are receiving this week. Happiness, again, coming back out. Immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. Dance is here. Find your heart's rhythm. Step lightly and swing with the melody. Close your eyes and let joy lead the way. I always get this energy like um, something happy happens. Well, I mean, I know it's happiness, but like the dance card is like lighten the energy type of energy. Um, elegance is also here. It's found in the beauty of nature, the lotus waiting to bloom, be the swan on the water and glide. Um, with the swans, I always see their little feet pedaling like underneath the water. They have to work so hard, but they definitely make everything look really easy, right? All right, Cancer, I'm going to close it out with the Moonology Oracle. This is going to help with your thoughts and emotions. I do feel like you're very much in your emotions at the beginning of the week and maybe more in your thoughts towards the end of the week. There's a little bit of this energy, Cancer. Watch out for it, definitely. You know how, and I do this all the time, but you know how, um, like, when good things start to happen, it's almost like we have a hard time being present and experiencing that happiness and that joy. We just immediately start looking for like the next rock that's going to fall out of the sky. Right. I feel like this is the week where you get some big changes, cancer. And I feel like spirit's saying, be present, be in the moment. Don't be fearful of what's next. Appreciate and be happy for the things you have in this moment right now. A time to give rather than take. It's new moon in Virgo. The answers you need are coming. It's full moon in Gemini. We did see Gemini, the lovers. And a fiery climax approaches. It's full moon in Aries. And we definitely seen that Aries energy. All right, I'm going to leave it right there, Cancer. I hope that reading was helpful. Mm -hmm.